All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Great to have you, as always. We got a video titled, Student Tries to Stump Charlie Kirk on White Privilege and Fails. And we're about to get into that right now. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe while you're here. Now, let's get into it. What's wrong? Do you know what SB 1070 is? Tell me what it is. It's basically a law for an officer to pull me over and ask for my papers. But well, I've never even <clears throat> been to Mexico. Okay, well, I think people should be asked for their papers regardless of the skin okay, color. Okay, so, so then we go. Here's white privilege. Why is so that we, white privilege? Okay, here we I, go. I, uh, how is that white privilege? Did I miss something? Here we go, here we go, here we go. Who are yeah. they going to ask for their papers, me or you? I get asked for papers all the time no, when I get don't. pulled over. Yeah, you, I, you I get, can show you my pile of Do you get asked tickets. to prove that you're a citizen of the United States? Hold, hold on a second. First of all, I get asked for my driver's license all the time when I get pulled over. In fact, every time I get pulled over, I get asked for my driver's We're license, gonna... okay? So, but... Okay, so let's break this argument down a layer deeper, all right? So he's saying that it's white privilege because Charlie Kirk doesn't have to deal with, with asking to prove that he's an American citizen. But Charlie Kirk is saying that when he gets pulled over, he's required to provide papers, a.k.a. documentation, you know what I'm saying, to verify who he really is. Everyone has to if they ever get pulled over. There's certain papers, you know, that you'll have to provide in order to, you know, um, ensure to in order to ensure to the police that this is your car. You are who you say you are, et cetera. You know, and, and that it's, it's another form of having your papers, so to speak. So he so the kid is 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 triggered by the by the emotional aspect of of having to show your papers and it, that just not not feeling good, you know, when when he might be a, a normal citizen, uh, uh, an actual citizen of this country. So I understand why he might get emotional about that. But I mean, come on, man, you got to when, when you debating, you can't use emotions. You cannot use emotion in debates. Here, here's the one thing. Hold on. I. I do you really think that you're you're being pulled over just because of the color of your skin? Dude, it's happened many times. Hey, guess what? You're I get pulled wait, over wait, too. Lucy, you're never you're never gonna know it because you don't look like me, man. Wait, hold you're on. You're never gonna have to so, know my struggles. Wait, so, I mean, th th this is the problem. I'm just gonna give you a piece of advice. Honestly, you complimented me and Candace Owens. You're looking at the world as a victim. Okay, you're looking at the world as if there's systemic racism and the evil white man that's trying to crush you. It's a lie. It's a lie that is designed to keep you down. It's a lie that is designed. Yeah, clearly this kid came up there with a chip on his shoulder. You can kind of tell by the way he's fidgeting, moving around. Um, yeah, and, and and this is what happens when you have when you have it in, in, embedded into your brain from a young age that there is this this boogeyman within within whiteness. That there's this boogeyman within white people. <clears throat> Where you can't do certain things that they can do, or that they're trying, white people are trying to keep you down and oppress you, et cetera, et cetera. You hear this your whole life, you know. You you think it's true. You think that that white people can do things that you can't do, but the reality is that you can do anything you want to do. You just gotta move. You gotta move smart. Stay out of trouble. You can do anything you want to do in in America, at least. But sadly, it's people that still think that they there's certain things that they can't do, or that or, or that they they aren't. They aren't equal to another person because of their because of the color of their skin. To try and disempower you, and I, white people get pulled over all the time to be asked for their papers. And if a non-citizen does not have their papers, they should be deported from this country if they do not have their papers. So please go ahead. All right, before you start saying I'm playing that victim thing, I'm never going to call myself a victim, but I'm not blind to the fact that my journey is going to be different than someone that doesn't look like me. You're right. So you know how it's going to be Hold different? Up. It's going to be easier for you. It's because affirmative action laws benefit people of color above white applicants to certain universities. In Texas, if you try to get Regeneron or monoclonal antibodies, the specific position of the Texas Health and Human Services is we only give Regeneron to Hispanic and black people and not to white people. At State Street Capital Advisors, if you wanna be a financial manager, you know they're not allowed to hire white people without board permission, yet they can hire Hispanic people and black people as much as they want. Do you know that United Airlines wants to double the amount of Hispanic and black pilots and try to hire less white pilots? You're right, you and I have it different. And currently, the current regime and status quo is making it easier for you. You have privilege.
Hey, I was just about to say, right, to close off all of that, all of that, all, everything he just stated in the end, while that that is very unfairly skewed against white people, that presents it presents an opportunity for people of color to go out here and get it. They trying to hire us. You know, women, women are, are they want women to enter certain fields. They want people of color in certain fields. They trying to hire us. We just got to go out there and get the jobs. The opportunity in today's day and age is there. It's time for people to stop complaining about things that they can't do or things that other people can do because of how they look or where they were born or I can't do something because of where I'm from. Stop complaining. Put your best foot forward and put in the work. Get it done. That's that's all it comes down to at the end of the day. Everything else Everything else is irrelevant. Everybody has to deal with ups and downs in their life. Everybody is gonna is gonna be sad. Everybody's gonna go go through things, man. We all we all we all humans at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? We we bring up more things to we build more walls to divide each other than we really need to. But um yeah, uh, that's it for the reaction, you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe on your way out the door. Let me know what you want to see next in the comments down below. Till next time, you guys. I'm out. Peace.